Hi and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to take a, a look at the Tasmota topics and messages. Uh, we need to understand the various messages and the, the topics that they're actually sent on in order to develop our, our Tasmota um, device detector as part of our Tasmota project. Now when you set up a Tasmota device you need to dis decide on the topic structure and this is the screen you'll get um, what you need to fill in. Now I've covered this in the um, tutorial on uh, Tasmota device setup. Uh, what I want to point out though in this video and recap is the the bottom of the screen where we actually enter the topic which is really uh, the device name and I say here you give it a meaningful name I've called mine Sun Off Light. Uh, this is the actual device itself. Topic's a bit of a, a misnomer for that and then we got the full topic which consists of the prefix and plus the topic so we've got it here topic prefix or we could have it the other way around we could have prefix topic and there's actually other alternatives but these are the common ones topic prefix or prefix topic and again prefix is a, a strange name for this because it's actually a message type and if so here are the message types so we've got command we've got stat and we've got telly and it says what they're used for here. Command, you send it a, a command, turn it on, turn it off. In response to the command, you get a stat, which is basically the status of that device. You might also get a, a result uh, message as well. And we've also got telly, which is status information. And it reports this at regular intervals. Uh, the default is, is actually five minutes. So three different message types. If you just go back, back to this screen, so if we've got a command message type we'd have sun off light slash command and if we've got telly we'd have sun off light slash uh, telly. So that's the basic structure. I've listed the options here so we've got prefix plus topic so it would look like this and an example is telly main light or main light telly so depending on which way around you have it. Another option is to put a topic base plus prefix plus topic and this is what I use, this is my preferred one and the topic base here is called house, now you could call that whatever you wanted to so if you're in a factory you could call it factory so again we can have um, topic base plus prefix plus topic or we can have topic base plus topic plus prefix whichever way, whichever way you want so what are the advantages and disadvantages of these, these formats? Well if you're using the topic base plus prefix plus topic format then you can easily put a wildcard in there so you can just go topic base uh, slash wildcard so you can just filter on just house and anything coming after that and you can also go topic base prefix wildcard so you can go house telly so you can filter out all the telly messages now because you've chosen the the other format doesn't mean you can't use wildcards um, and here if we use topic base plus topic plus prefix then we can go for this type of structure topic base with a plus plus telly and there's an example house slash plus telly so it's possible to use wildcards regardless of, of the structure you're using now this is a structure of the command this is the MQTT, top, MQTT topic uh, it's full topic slash command so we've got house command house light which is the device and power on if you want to turn the power on and off and if we wanted to turn the LED we'd have LED here instead of power on. Now the actual uh, command on or off is carried in the payload so uh, if we look at the mosquito pub tool and we publish to this device we'd have this command here house command house light power on minus M and we turn it on using this to turn it off we just put off here so that's the the structure now there are three types of Tasmota messages there's a command response message turn on turn off the status messages which are sent uh, periodically they're, they're sent using the tele uh, message type and the startup messages which, which are only sent on startup now a device detector needs to be able to detect all of these message types Now I just want to finish off by showing you a, a data capture of uh, three Tesmoda switches and it's showing actually the power 
power up sequence and the messages that actually get sent when you actually power the device on. So if you actually start monitoring um, the messages after the device has been turned on, you won't actually see these messages. They're only present when you switch the device on and off. There are commands you can issue to the device that will actually send you the same information. And again, we'll be covering that later as we develop the, um, the monitor further. So let's start down here with the Tesmoto 1. So it's publishing the last will and testament. So when it comes up, it actually sends that last will and testament. Now that is actually sent as a retained message. So um, when you actually subscribe there, you will see that, that message there. Uh, we've got info one and it gives you the fallback topic and it gives you the group topic. Now if you look at the um, Tesmoto detector you'll see that we actually pick up the fallback topic and the group topic and I'm picking it up by actually looking for this message here info one. Then we've got info two and it gives you the IP address of the device and again if you look at the monitor you can see I'm picking that one up as well because I'm looking for this message as well. and info 3 which gives us the restart reason for that device. Okay now if we go further down here you can see state messages being published and these are actually published uh, every five minutes and we can you can see that if you actually look at the timestamps and I'll try and pick those out in a second but you can see what's being published here you can see the uptime being published you can see the Wi-Fi network being published in the channel and if I look at the time here, it's 1958, 1958, this is 1958, and if I go further, you can see it's 2003. So 50, 1958, 2003, that's five minutes. This has been published every five minutes. Okay, for, for information purposes, I'll make this um, available as part of the downloads. And if you're actually interested, capture this data using the Python data logger. We will actually be incorporating a data logger in our project at a, at a later date. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this quick video. I just wanted to give you actually a, a recap uh, and an overview of the, the message types that we, we're going to encounter and the, the message types we're going to have to, have to detect uh, as part of our detector. Okay, so if you like the video, then click the like button. If you've got comments on the video, then leave them below and if you want to be notified of new videos then you can always subscribe to the channel and uh, remember there's actually a project page on the website and there's a link in the description below to that project page okay until next time goodbye